This video looks at connecting a rain sensor to your Base Station 1000 or Base Station 3200 controller. Both two wire boards and power bicoder boards inside your controller have a rain sensor terminal. On two wire boards, the middle terminal is the rain sensor terminal. On power bicoder boards, the rain sensor terminals are located on the far right side. They're both designed to accept a normally closed rain sensor or a switch. Let's look at setting up a basic rain sensor. Start by installing your rain sensor according to the manufacturer's instructions. For wired sensors, route the wire all the way back to the controller. Wireless sensors are similar, but the receiver unit will be at the controller, not an actual wire. Disconnect and set aside the factory jumper. You may need it later. Now connect the leads from the sensor or wireless receiver to the board. Many rain sensors are adjustable for how much rain will trigger the switch, all the way down to an eighth of an inch of precipitation, so be sure and adjust yours. Here's what you can expect to happen. Once it starts raining and the right amount of moisture triggers your sensor, the controller will stop all programs, typically within one to two minutes of the sensor input. Here are a few options for rain sensors. There are often programs that still need water even though it's raining. Consider plants under a cover or fountain controls. These programs should skip or ignore rain sensor inputs. To make a change, open the specific schedule, scroll down to advanced settings, and uncheck Obey Global Conditions. With this unchecked, the program will ignore rain sensor inputs. Even though the rain sensor is wet, the fountain program will run as scheduled. You may want to manually shut off a controller for several days until the soil dries out a bit. In Base Manager, click on the menu in the upper left corner, then Rain Delay. You can set a delay for the current controller, the entire site, or your entire company. If you're working on mobile access, you'll find rain delay settings for the current controller on the main menu. It's not uncommon to let a rain sensor initially shut off the controller and then come back and add extra rain delays remotely. Maybe you want to customize rain sensor settings even more to your liking. Event switches combined with start-stop pause conditions can help. I'll use that same wired rain sensor, but I'll connect the sensors to the gray and black leads of an event bicoder. After that, I'll connect the two wire leads to my two wire path, or if I have conventional wire, I'll just install the bicoder inside the controller cabinet. Next, set a pause condition for however long you want. Once the sensor gets wet, the controller triggers a pause condition that lasts for as long as you've set it. We discuss programming for start-stop pause conditions in another video. Be aware that a missing or loose jumper wire is treated just like an active rain sensor and your controller may not operate the way you expect. If you experience programs that pause or won't run, double check the jumper wire on that rain sensor terminal and make sure the screw is tight. If you tossed out the original jumper, a short piece of replacement wire will do the trick. 